In this video, we're going to examine the pros and cons of the Eden Grow Aeroponic Grow System. Occasionally, we come across a product that is so unique that even though it falls outside our typical expertise, we feel compelled to test it to see if the average prepper could benefit from it. Eden Grow claims to offer a system combining NASA technology with innovative aeroponic methods, offering an out of the box, plug and play, user friendly, no fuss growing experience. My question was, could an average person deploy one of these systems and successfully grow food, especially after disaster? Stick around to the end for my honest assessment of whether this system is capable of that and worth the price. The Box While researching the Eden Grow system before unboxing, I found some old videos of the creator detailing his thought process in design, use, and even packaging. You can tell a great deal of thought has gone into the system the moment you open the box. The attention to detail distinguishes this product from its competitors, aiming to make indoor aeroponic growing as simple as possible. Now this was evident when I started unpacking the box. I like to unpack everything and get rid of most of the packing materials before I start building. As I unpacked, I realized how much thought went into the assembly. Pieces were pulled out top to bottom from the box with clear instructions. All the tools needed were supplied, even simple bubble levelers. The pieces were consistently labeled alphabetically and by grow deck. The assembly. Before I put it together and from an operational security standpoint, I added light diffusing films to my garage windows. I don't want any curious neighbors wondering what I'm growing. Now beginning with the lower grow deck, the wheels simply screw on. The lower deck houses the water reserve, pump, filter, actuator, and electronics. I'm working with the triple deck grow system with a 10 gallon reservoir, perfect for greens and leafy vegetables. I'm going to test a variety of plants. InGrow is consistently innovating, offering single to triple deck systems with adjustable grow areas for root vegetables like potatoes. I had success with long radishes, but beets were too large, so I would only suggest them if you're growing them for greens. Once the wheels were on, I flipped it over, positioned it for the rest of the build, and locked the wheels to keep it in place. Each piece is alphabetically labeled to correspond with its attachment point. Locking pins secure each of the major poles, grow decks, and lights. Now, while it would be easier for two people to construct the grow tower and align the decks, I found it manageable to do it alone. The straightforward assembly process is a plus, allowing it to be done by just one person. The label grow deck fits over the poles and into the pins. The drainage hose fits neatly into a self-locking sill on the reservoir tank. The light deck fits similarly over the corner posts, and using the provided bubble level, I secured the screws on all four corners to lock them into place. I used a tape measure to ensure and adjust my height to ensure everything was even. With the first two grow decks and first light in place, the next set of poles and locking pins went on all four corners. I aligned the growing areas using the pins, then added the second deck set of lights, ensuring it was level. Then I added the third grow deck, following the same procedure and capped it off with the final set of lights. The labeling system ensured there was no confusion during assembly. For each grow deck, I removed the misting bar, moved the U-brackets to extend the trough, and snapped the missing PVC pipe into place at the bottom of the trough. I then affixed the lids to the top and repeated the procedure for the remaining two decks. The deck shelf can then be added on top. The drainage pipe fits through the hole on each deck top. Then I connected the nutrient feed hose from the out valve on the pump up the side to the inlet on each deck, using clamps along the pole to affix the hose. The supplied fans attach with a simple vice screw on the corners. The wind is essentially for plants to build vertical strength, provided by the fans that plug into the supplied wire running across the top back side of the light deck to plug in on the opposite side. Finally, the tablet bracket mounts onto the front where the supplied fire tablet will be placed and plugged into the supplied wire. You should never run the system and pump without water as this could damage the pump. So I didn't plug it in to test until I completed the setup steps of filling the tank with water and nutrients. The grow. The included instructions and supplied nutrients make filling the reservoir simple. I learned that it's best not to fill the nutrient reservoir directly because of the top's location. It's easier to pour the solution into the bottom deck and let it drain into the reservoir. To set up your grow pot, place a pot in the hole on the grow deck. Place a soaked torta cube or rock wool cube in the basket, drop your seed in, and cover it with a supplied grow cap. Depending on what you grow, you may need to trim the grow cap's interior, and there are instructions on how to do that with simple scissors, providing room for the plant to grow. It's important to keep a record of everything you grow, and this is where I had some difficulties with the Eden Grow app, which I'll touch on later. A few days later, sprouts were evident, and after two weeks, I was ready to harvest around the edges. Eden Grow even supplies scissors for harvesting. After another two weeks, I was able to pull whole heads of lettuce out. 
The vertical indoor plant growth system uses NASA-studied aeroponic technology and is designed to be modular, automated, and durable, suitable for food production, hobby gardening, research, and other purposes. Now, the advantages of growing this way are numerous. There are no bugs or other critters to eat your vegetables and greens, and there's no need to worry about soil toxins. You can manually control the light, water, and wind, or just let it run, ensuring a perfect growing environment as long as the temperature is stable. 18-24 to 24 hour grow days mean faster and bigger harvest compared to the 10 hours of effective light when planting outside. When a storm, sudden fall, frost, or summer heat wave could wipe out your garden, your indoor system remains unaffected. Studies show that the food you grow has more phytonutrients, is fresher, and is pesticide-free, providing a noticeable taste and nutritional difference. The misters create a cloud of mist that keeps the roots consistently moist and fed with nutrients. The roots grow below while the plant grows above. To harvest, simply trim the plant or remove the pot entirely. I successfully grew red lettuce, spinach, radishes, goji berries, and wasabi greens. Beets grew slowly and peppers needed to be transplanted due to space constraints. Chives, onions, dill, tarragon, and strawberries did not grow well. The long radishes were very successful. The challenges. Here are the major challenges that I encountered and how I overcame them. First, the app is still in development and customizing and recording plant data it does leave a lot to be desired. Often had to reboot the tablet to manually adjust fans, mistings, or lights. Running it from the PC was equally challenging, and I couldn't customize a plant. The good news is that the default settings run independently. If I did nothing else but plant seeds, turn on the system and monitor nutrient levels, I would still get a bountiful harvest. Customization is a bit primitive, but the default settings are enough to make it as plug-and-play as possible. Another challenge was a filter, which needs cleaning every few days and is located inside the unit. I've spoken to Eden Grow, and they indicated that their newer models have made filter access easier. The procedure is simple. Turn off the nutrient flow, unscrew the filter casting, wash the filter with a high-pressure hose, and then reinstall the filter and restore the nutrient flow. Now, another difficulty was that the pump didn't seem strong enough to pull a decent flow through the supplied 50 nanometer filter. I replaced it with a 100 nanometer filter, and it worked perfectly. I was more afraid that my spray nozzles would clog, a typical problem with aeroponic systems, but that didn't happen during my use. Ingrow indicated that they are testing an ultrasonic missing system, so they continue to innovate, and I'm confident that they're going to keep improving the system. I also noticed plants on the edges grew more slowly, likely due to insufficient misting around the roots. Keep this in mind and plant leafy greens that can thrive with reduced roots on the edges instead of plants like peppers that need longer roots. Now, Despite these challenges, the system's design minimizes guesswork, making it highly autonomous. You don't need to be a NASA scientist to operate this system. And I'm confident anyone could easily follow the supplied instructions and grow a substantial amount of plants. My final assessment. If you're on the fence about aeroponic systems and want to avoid the complexities of hydroponics or aquaponics, the Eden Grow system, it's an excellent choice. Even if you only want to deploy it after a disaster, I think this system could be your solution. It is perfect for those looking to upgrade from a windowsill system or those who prefer not to build from scratch. If you're concerned about food quality and nutrition, this system ensures that you get the freshest, insect and pesticide-free, nutritious produce. Whether you want to grow unique plants suited to your climate or you're a prepper, chef, or sustainability enthusiast, InGrow offers a reliability and convenience that you need. The out-of-box plug-and-play setup is affordable and straightforward for beginners, while experienced users will find even greater value and versatility. The system excels at producing leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables like lettuce, spinach, and cabbage. You probably will have daily yields of more than you can eat. Though it may not replace large-scale food production, it does excel at providing fresh produce with minimal water and power requirements, making it a great addition to any prepper's food supply. You could run the system entirely off a battery system. And the system allows for a continuous harvest through staggered planting, significantly enhancing your diet with fresh produce rich in vitamins and minerals. While it may not replace your entire food supply, the Ingrow system, it's a valuable investment they keep improving upon. It is a product that you can see the thought, care, and intelligence in the design, and I would recommend it for supplementing stored food with high-quality, homegrown produce. As always, stay safe out there.